all right. I'm going to make a lot of road racers angry here. We are at the worst racetrack in the world. Road America. Um, I hate this place so much. It's... All right, so first off, this isn't the track's fault. This is iRacing's fault. We've got to do a full pace lap here. Even though we have short pace laps at Sakuba and every other small track, we're still doing a full pace lap at Road America. So in about five minutes, the race will start. And that's if we start pacing right now. iRacing, give us a short pace lap. It's not like there is a shortage of long straights to put the cars on. Uh, number two. Long straight after long straight after long straight after long straight with boring 90 degree turns. Um, and the elevation changes aren't even actually in the turns. It's before and after. Uh, it's just boring to me. Third reason I hate this place. Road racers have no idea how to be patient and work together. They are so, like, tuned for if you have a chance to pass, make that pass. And so all they do is slow each other down because they're like, oh, I'm faster than this guy, even though they're in the draft. And so they just are in a constant state of tripping over each other, and it annoys me massively. Um, yeah. So, that is my complaining about this track. I just, I cannot stand it. If we didn't have to take five minutes to get to the race after gridding, maybe it wouldn't be as bad, but it's just not a fun place. I don't like it. I don't like it in fast cars. I don't, I really hate it in slow cars and in stock cars. I just want to burn the whole place down. So, um, I was running low setup, and then I spun out multiple times in qualifying. Catch so I said screw it, I threw the medium setup on for uh, downforce. And we're going to see if uh, that helps me not be terrible. And then, yeah, we gotta be able to break for the corners. That's probably not gonna work out well. Uh, we're gonna be slow on the straights compared to everyone on low down force. I'm hopeful, though, that with draft we'll be okay. And then with uh, maybe just not wrecking out, it'll be beneficial. Because I feel like if I run the low down force set, that thing's just so unstable. Like, I can lift off in the kink and still wreck if I'm offline just a tiny bit. So, I have zero faith in myself being able to survive the race. And, uh,. I feel like we're going to get more positions by everyone else wrecking out. Especially on corner entry, this thing is very unstable with the low down force. Now, I did make changes to the setup that might have broke it, but I couldn't drive it to begin with with the low down force. Uh, I feel like this 25 is going to be one of the first people to wreck out just with the way he's pacing, so we will... Uh, let him buy if he gets a run. But, uh, yeah, I assume out of turn one, we're going to have some wrecking, as you tend to do, and then at the end of the middle straight, the second straightaway, long straightaway, heading back the opposite direction of the start straight, there will be crashes at the end of that, because we'll be four wide going into there with the draft. And then, at the kink, someone's going to lose it on low down force. Unless I am just absolutely terrible and don't know how to drive. But 
it's uh, it is just way too unstable. So we're gonna be slow, and Gavin's on the same downforce. So we'll see what happens. At least we'll have one person back here, just green, a few spots ahead right of there. us. Leaders are probably going. No pace cars not off go. yet. never going to be able to see because of the crest of this hill when the leaders go. So that causes wrecks here. Green, green, green. Yep, the guy behind us is just a moron. Jump into the outside of the car. Oh, we're just going to let him go and avoid his wreck. Well, they got out of turn one. So maybe just no one's going to wreck it all. We'll find out quickly on this straight what downforce everyone's on. The guy ahead of me, I think, is on medium. 25 car is definitely on low. And, well, at least we didn't wreck that guy. Gonna gain a spot here. Don't know how it locked up like that, but we're already failing on the medium set. the track. Same fucking idiot. That one that's wrecked, and that is Gavin. That is unfortunate. We got a yellow flag up ahead. Clear on the rock. All right, well, we're barely ahead of the GT class. Gavin is out of the race, it looks like. We're just gonna have to keep avoiding this idiot every time he cuts across the track. After wrecking. I am just gonna be careful on corner entry now because I don't know what the hell happened with the braking zone. Number one guy's flat faster than us. Not going to worry about him passing us. We're at least pulling away from the GTs slightly. Sucks for Gavin, though. Don't know. He might have got pushed wide, or maybe the thing just snapped on him still. Which scares me. We've got another one that's wrecked. We're just, we're gonna gain spots from just not wrecking. I think we're gonna see a lot of smoke through there. We're going to be nice and easy into the braking zones after that turn one terribleness. So we've went from 16th to possibly 18th. 17th. But 
we are not going to be racing anyone. Which is probably for the best, because I am not in control at all. And just no shove there. Try to go quickly through it, take advantage of some downforce, and nearly shove off the track. unless he's damaged. I'm just very unstable under braking. I do not like it. I tried to solve that. Played around with the different brake forces. Really did not gain anything from it. Put that, but we're just going to be slow on the straights. Massive no show. Behind us gets loose and is not able to carry his speed to pass us here. We're back into 16th. Only eight seconds ahead of the GTs. We are so slow. Slap up. Try not to take too much to the left. Because I forget that we're sitting on the right side sometimes. in the grass. And he's coming back with a run on us. stable. Maybe we have a chance to hold him off. Well, not stable there. How is this piece of crap just not turning? Just shoving the nose. All right, traction control completely off. Spin off the corner by pinching him there. He didn't fall for it. Yeah, I don't even think he's on low down for. I think he just was in our draft. So we are breaking early. Four point seven to the car ahead of this guy, so hopefully we're catching them.
still a bit unstable there. We've lost the draft ahead of us already, so... That is how good we are, and we're struggling out of the corner. I did put traction control back because I thought about it and figured that's not causing our tight and it's probably helping us not loop it out of the corner. Four and a half ahead. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, we're catching that guy, so... We might have one person to race here. We have someone behind us. Don't know if I hit something there or if the game is screwing up again. Sometimes it shows something slightly different. I don't have time to look over there and see. The car behind us is catching very quick. We got yellow flags. The car in P1 just set the fastest lap. 53.447. Go right. The car stops on the left. Go right. Well, there's a couple of spots. One of them for sure will get a key. Up to 14. But we lose in a couple of spots. Unless they all wreck tripping over each other behind us. Three point seven to the car ahead, that's the one we've been following our distance to. Oh, I can't slow down for that turn in time. Necessary downshifts just to make sure that I don't overdrive the center of a corner. Good news is we're running faster than I was running on lowdown force. But I don't know if we would have made the same gains from lowdown force. I was in the 56s on lowdown force, but that was one lap first time lap, so oh my god, stop stepping on the gas 
21's been catching us this whole time, so again, not worried about him passing us. Looks like he started from the pits. Feel terrible. Oh, look, it's that guy. Surprised he didn't back onto the track. Steering wheel is trying to fall off the desk now. It's all gone wrong. Trying to stay wider here. I have a problem with getting too far inside. And then heading the wrong direction on exit. This guy should shoot past us. No, maybe not. That is a damaged car. That guy is pitting. Well, we're just getting a bunch of free spots by not wrecking. I'm just going to pull over and let this guy go so that we don't have to race him. He's quicker. I don't need anyone doing anything stupid. And he wasn't on a lower down force to really just pump it past us, so... Get him to go, because our goal is survival. Not that I don't trust the guy. I don't trust anyone or myself. And me making a mistake while someone's right up our tail is more likely if I'm trying to go faster than I need to. Don't know why we uh, put it into that corner, but. This is me on a red course. So guy that we were actually watching, the 29, he has pulled out a bit because we lifted off and let this guy go through. We gotta hope the 25 wrecks before he gets back to us. I feel like I'm getting better now. Car's getting lighter. I'm learning to get it through the corner. We're gonna be in 12th place here. But we got two people, one person right behind us that's gaining. But he's wrecked twice, so. that did pass us, he has not gained anything back from his mistake. Five point five ahead to the twenty nine, so he's pulling away from us now. At Watkins Glen, it felt like the higher downforce cars got slower as the race went on. Don't know if we'll uh, suffer the same thing. Hasn't really felt like we've ran into any low downforce people back here, though.
And Justin is on pit road. Puts us up into 11th. I don't even count that as a position because I assume he's going to wreck again. We're 7.7 .7 away from the 22, so we have pulled away from him. Maybe we get drug around here for a bit until this guy gets too far away, which will be helpful. But he's already pulling out of distance, so... That was useful for like three seconds. Now I should be quicker than him in the corners, but since I suck at road racing, uh, we can't take advantage of this higher downforce. And we are right on the edge of the draft. And he will pull away with his low downforce here. But we go to a 55.55. Probably could have took that harder, but again, we're better off staying on track than putting in fast laps. 9.6 ahead of the 22 now. I don't know if he picked up some damage or what. Got seven minutes and 40 seconds left in this thing, so. Possibly. A few more spots to gain. Especially if they start getting to the GT class. Spencer is a lap down. That sucks. I was wondering where he was at. the grass. So the 21 has caught the 29, and they're probably both going to slow up a little bit. And then if the 25 catches them, it will, uh, we'll see what happens. We might get some free spots. Actually attack turn one. We got to go 0.39 quicker so far on this lap. Tried to attack that corner, and that corner can just go to hell.
they're going to get to each other at the same point. I tried to push too hard there, and we just were off into the middle of nowhere through that corner. I could get near apexes, we'd be doing a little better. Hey! The car in front is going off. You got a slow car on the left. Yes, sir. Left side. Keep to the right. Third time. She would just hit a wall one of these times. Looks like the 29 is way off pace. Did he hit the 29 and cause damage? We got about five laps of fuel. Well, hopefully we're far enough away from whatever's gonna happen here. doing. wonder if he's short on fuel or something. Maybe he just had a bad corner, but it's definitely looking slow on the straight. 9.6 behind, so we don't have any massive reason to pass instantly here. class coming up. Gonna get a good run off of here. Oh, we got too good of a run off of here. Not gonna be able to go anywhere with it. So I'm not gonna go side by side through the kink, especially when it looks like this guy is extremely slow on the straights. He lifts off for us. He does have a lot of front end damage, it looks like. So, all we need is the 25 to wreck again, and we'll be top 10. Clear. 
Hopefully the 25 is so desperate to pass a car that's in front of him that he tries to pass the 3 and ends up wrecking himself. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, the 3 let him go. Well, that's unfortunate. How am I going to get my spot? I guess there are still GTs out there. Come on, 25, you can do it. Fourth time's the charm. Well, looks like we're going to get 11th, but that's pretty good considering I was the first one to wreck, essentially. Just glad the GTs weren't up our ass there. Especially since it took me so long to figure out how to go fast. Unfortunately, Gavin did not get as lucky with his first wreck. But 11th ticket place, flag, ticket flag. and we didn't run into anyone. We'll get Nick so we can feel good about that. We're gonna have a bit of action to watch, though. Let's see how everyone else went. Uh, let's see. Steven gets. Fifth in his class. I don't know if that's what he was talking about. Oh, and Justin didn't put uh, fuel in. That's why I just never... I know I'm going to be in the back anyways, so I just... Race fuel, if I'm going to qualify. It's a NASCAR thing. I never think about it because we never have to deal with it. So, 29 does what we did. We're back here doing the same thing. I really... We lock up the fronts and it just goes around. 10... He goes for a little wobble. Gavin! I don't know how. How did that thing get loose on him with medium? At least he didn't take anyone else out. He was spread out enough there. 14. He goes around. Everyone gets by. That was close. Man, holy crap. Well, his career is over. 22, he locks him up. That corner, that corner just sucks. Whole bunch of self spins on breaking. Spencer just trying to avoid people, and the person he avoids not able to hang on to it, and ends up wrecking him, even though Spencer just let him go. And that snags Spencer, and I don't know if it broke his car. Yeah, it looks like it ripped off his uh, left rear, and yep, his plank tilted. And we got, well, we got this guy just driving through the back of the guy. I don't think this guy knows he's missing a wing. Now he knows. 22. Oh, he locks it up. A little damage. 25. Spins it. That's why I turned traction control way down, because it's kind of like the... 
spun out there, but... Um, okay, so those were two separate incidents. This guy just wrecked on his own. Two wide gravel tires. Goodbye, nose. Oh, and he's trying to drive it away. Um, this is the guy that eventually won. He gets in the grass a little bit. And then more grass and gravel. Contact there. Justin. Into the wall. find a GT to run into. Just drives through him. That was... That was impressive. GT tried to give him the racing line, and it just sounded like he gunned it up. We got the 25 going three wide right when he caught the guys, and that is how he broke the 29. Go figure. We knew it was going to happen, too. We knew it from the pace lap. Uh, why are we trying to bump draft? Okay. That's the end of the race, I guess. And there we go. That's it. So, let's take a look at the results real quick. We'll go look at the other splits, because there was a lot of splits. Were we in second split? We must have been in second split. Um, yeah, so we get 11th and we gain one I rating, lose 0 0.04 safety rating. I feel like I should have lost more. Uh, this guy ends up with 16 incidents, so I do not feel bad about anything I said. A whole lot of incidents out there for some people. Um, yeah, top split then was a whole different story. And I don't know if we knew anyone in here. It's going to be hard to see names anyways. Bottom split. Let's look at HPD. My dad does not finish. <laughs> does he even start? He didn't even start. Maybe he wrecked on the first lap. Could be. Uh, do we know any names in here? Probably going to miss some. What about GT1s? Don't see. And none there. Let's go top split GT1s just because for GT there was actually people. And don't see names there. So, yeah, that was something. Um, not my favorite track, but we'll be going to some better tracks with this. And I think I'm just going to stick with higher downforce because it looks like everyone's going to go for speed and wreck. But that might just be a uh, slightly different track than all the others because of its terrible, terrible design. And hopefully that is the end of me offending every road racer out there. So, thanks for watching.